On the 7th of March, 2013, at 8 p.m. in the evening, two new orphan chimpanzees arrived at Chipunga, one from the township of Delisi and the other from Akuro on the Gabon border. Jack, the smallest, is approximately three years old. He had a rope tied around his neck, and he is totally disoriented and tired. And Dudu, the older of the two, is about five years old. Well, I mean, he's got this chain, so every time we're moving him, we're pulling his neck. I wouldn't like it either. He's larger, and his behavior is abnormal and unpredictable. Finally, he's calmer. John A. May, after several long attempts, manages to cut and release the heavy, long chain from around his neck. He's in reasonable condition, but his skin is quite dry, the hair. It's more, at the moment, his behavior is what's abnormal that we're going to have to work on. We've got to build trust with him, and then once we've done that, we can get him to re-socialize with other chimps and gain normal behavior. The next morning, everything is different. Two new arrivals are in isolation from the others while they undergo their quarantine period. But they will not be alone. John A. May, a skilled JGI caregiver, will be with them during the next week. It's not his first time taking care of new chimpanzees. Dudu and Jack quickly begin to realize John A. May is nice and he's protective. Dudu is now free of his change for the first time in three years. At this time, he receives caresses of humans who now understand him. He starts to appreciate the details of his new home. For a long time, he was chained to an abandoned car with the chain at the home of a policeman. Now, along with his new roommate, Jack, they both have a second chance to return to the forest of Congo. Thankfully, this is all possible with the support of all the JGI members, donors, and partners. <laughs>